Coquito, otherwise known as the Puerto Rican eggnog. And this fantastic cocktail will have you teeming for more. However, be forewarned, it is not low carb by any means. So, let's begin. First, he fetches his can of condensed milk. And using this little can opener thingy thinger from the 1970s, he opens the can. This condensed milk is basically milk fat and sugar. Like I said, it's not low carb. He lifts the lid to reveal the can nectar. This can nectar is incredibly delicious. He opens the lid to increase the airflow, which does absolutely nothing. But he does ensure he grabs every last bit. Next, he moves on to the evaporated leche, which says to shake well. So he does. And then using his can opener, he pops it. He pops one side, flips it around 180 degrees, and pops the other. This, in fact, does increase the airflow, increasing the throughput of the liquid out of the can. Three love taps, and he moves on to the two other. These do not state to shake well, but just to be sure, he does so anyways. Realizing he's severely out of breath because he's severely out of shape, he then opens a coconut milk can. He's going to use about half a can, so about a cup. Since he lacks fingernails, he pries his can open with the tool again, and takes the lid off. Careful, because it's sharp. The coconut cream is also half a can, so about 8 ounces. Then the most important ingredient. White rum. White rum works better in Coquito rather than aged rum because the age rum introduces too much of a flavor profile. One cup and a bit more. Then, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And using the all-important whisk, which he, fit, oh, 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 he was attempting to flail, but it fell and he begins to whisk together. Soon, the liquid becomes homogenous and smells absolutely delicious. But to ensure, he must do a taste test. Grabbing a clean spoon, he brings it to his mouth and is not satisfied. He doubles up on the ingredients, including the rum. Yes, the answer is always more rum. Then, using a clean spoon, he taste tests again. With the nectar to his lips, he is satisfied. Spilling everywhere, he makes a mess. And with that, everything's clean. But he makes sure to clean very well, because that's basically sugar. And unless you like ants, that's how you get ants. If you notice, the mixture has settled. So he mixes it before moving on. Now, he grabs the snap top bottle, which is a very presentable vessel. This he will use with the metal funnel. It does not matter the material, simply that it's a funnel. And he pours it into the bottle. However, uh, there's quite a bit. After snapping the bottle together, he sets it aside. And grabs the second bottle. Using the same process, he fills this one up as well. Snaps it together, and is still left over. Just enough for our drink. He pours himself a glass, a nice big glass, and with a stick of cinnamon, he garnishes his drink. And that is how you make Coquito. If you liked this video, share, like, and subscribe. And until next time, drink responsibly. <laughs>